breaking news from the White House on a slew of new pardons from Donald Trump just in time for Christmas, including Duncan Hunter, a former congressman from California who was sentenced to 11 months for stealing campaign funds, and Chris Collins, a former congressman from New York who was sentenced to 26 months for insider trading. Both former congressmen were early supporters of Trump during his 2016 campaign. Also pardoned was George Papadopoulos, Trump's former foreign policy advisor for his 2016 campaign, who pleaded guilty in Robert Mueller's investigation. Joining me now is Glenn Kirshner, former federal prosecutor. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, this is just, I would like to say it's unprecedented, but we kind of felt like this was going to be coming from Donald Trump. First, I just want to ask you just politically, before we get into the legal shenanigans of this, politically, what does Donald Trump think he's doing here? Is this ingratiating him with Republicans? Is this just paying off old debts? What's the strategy behind this? You know, it, it feels like Donald Trump is exercising power just because he can. It also feels more like a thumb in the eye for the law enforcement community, for the victims of the financial crimes that were committed. Um, and, and it is particularly galling, Jason, full disclosure. Uh, prosecutors are generally not fond of pardons because we will spend quite literally years putting cases together, investigating them in the, in the grand jury, right. indicting them, going to trial. And we do that all on behalf of the American people generally and the victims in the cases specifically. So, a part, you know, these kind of what seem to be thoughtless and needless pardons, this is not righting wrongs. This is not providing mercy. What this is is excusing um, people who steal campaign finance money that is donated in good faith by constituents. This is people who engage in financial crimes. And with the Papadopoulos of the world, this is somebody who impedes a federal law enforcement investigation by the FBI. This really seems to be just an across-the-board assault on the rule of law by Donald Trump simply because he has the power and authority to do it. Glenn, I just want to ask you this quick, because I always think this is important for context. Somebody like Papadopoulos, if you or I got caught lying to the FBI in a federal investigation, how much time would we, how much time would we likely serve? Lying to the FBI one time is a five-year offense. And often people who lie to the FBI are repeat offenders. They lie in an investigation over and over and over again to either try to keep themselves out of trouble or to protect their criminal associates. But Jason, if it were you and I, we would be sitting our butts in a jail cell for a good long stretch of time. Ah, yes, unfortunately we would. There would be no Trump Santa Claus to protect either of us. Glenn Kirshner, thank you so much uh, for joining us. We're in the middle of this breaking news. Coming up, new details tonight in the battle for Georgia, where voter turnout for the Senate runoffs is already massive. Stay with us. Ever since